Hey guys, welcome to the Gear Kit channel. In today's video, we will learn how to get silk from silkworms and how silkworms are reared on a large scale. And then how this worm is used to make silk fabrics. So watch the video till the end without skipping because today's video is going to be very special. Silk clothes began to be made in China at least 5,000 years ago, and then the demand for it gradually increased. Silk thread is produced by silkworms when they make their own cocoons. These worms are bred and reared commercially in many Asian countries for the production of silk thread because the silk fabrics are getting more and more popular all over the world. The female silkworm lays 400 to 500 eggs at a time and then dies. These eggs are so small that they cannot even be seen clearly by the naked eye. Then, about two weeks later, the larva hatch from the eggs. The larvae eat fresh mulberry leaves regularly and we tell you that they only eat mulberry leaves. These larvae weigh up to 10,000 times after eating so much food and grow to about 3 inches of length. The larva has 4 stages, 1st instar, 2nd instar, 3rd instar, and 4th instar. It then enters the pupa phase of its life cycle. It forms a web around itself using the salivary gland in its mouth. This salivary gland produces the saliva that combines with air to form silk. The larva forms a thick, soft cocoon around them. This stage is also called resting phase. In this video, you can see how this larva is enclosing itself inside the cocoon. Only after capturing itself in the cocoon do many parts from its body form and it turns into a moth. As you can see, this larva has changed completely. If the larva turns into moths and comes out of the cocoon, it produces less silk and eventually less profit. So in order to get more silk, larva is killed inside the cocoon before it transforms itself into a moth. To do this, the cocoon is boiled in water for three minutes. In some cocoons, the moth is allowed to come out so that the eggs can be retrieved from them for future production. Viewers, we have to work hard to make this video. All our hard work will be rewarded with just one like and one comment from you. So quickly, like this video and make a good comment. Boiling the cocoon in water melts the protein attached to it and makes it easier to unwrap the cocoon. 30 to 50 cocoons are threaded at a time to obtain silk from cocoons. The reel is then gently and safely rolled to open the cocoons. To get one pound of silk, it is required to use two to three thousand cocoons. Opening the cocoons is a very time-consuming task, as only one cocoon can grow as long as nine professional soccer fields. The thread is then bleached so that it can be absorbed to the synthetic dye well. After this process, the thread is exported to silk factories. This was today's video. I hope you enjoyed the journey of getting fiber from silkworms. Share this video with your friends and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You won't regret it. See you soon with another video. Take care.